Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants. I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal, man. We must continue to put some respect on Michael Jordan. We must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, and stop the narratives, y'all. That's what we're here to do. And in this video, we're going to talk about Michael Jordan and this idea that Michael Jordan always got foul calls. And we're going to take it a step further in this video. And I'm going to highlight to you guys this, you know, like I said, once again, we're going to expose this idea that Michael Jordan and his teams were always getting the benefits of the doubt or help from the referees by getting all these foul calls, these free throws. This is what a lot of the LeBron fan club members will try to make you believe. Oh, Michael Jordan always got help by the referees. He got all the fouls and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to talk about this, guys, because it's not true. And I've told you guys on this channel, man. So we're going to expose that with some numbers and some facts. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the states, man, has been supporting my channel. I am truly humble, guys, by all the support, man, for real. You guys leaving the comments, liking my videos. Like I said, guys, it's truly, truly humbling. Much respect to everyone out there. The real basketball fans are standing up against the nonsense, man. We're standing up. We're not going to take this stuff any longer. We're going to hold these guys to a standard. We're going to call them out, and we're going to set the record straight. So shout out to all you guys, man, for real, for rolling with me. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man. Like I said, it's very humbling to have people uh, join up my membership, man. Like I said, it's very humbling, guys. So thank you very much, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So yes, guys, like I've always been telling you on this channel, man, we must continue to stop the lies and the narratives, man. Set the record straight. And in this video, like I said, we're going to talk about how people believe that Michael Jordan got all these calls. And yes, Michael Jordan got preferential treatment from the referees, just like every other superstar in the history of the NBA. Guys, this is nothing new. We know this. Every sport, no matter what the sport is, the star players get treated differently than the other guys. Those are the facts, man. Right? These are just the facts. There's nothing new about this. This is not surprising. This is not unique just to Michael Jordan. However, what people try to make it seem as if Michael Jordan, like by extension, getting all these calls, that means that the Chicago Bulls were also getting all these foul calls, right? Because Michael Jordan got helped by the referees, so they helped his team out by giving them more free throws and foul calls, things of that nature, right? That's what they want you to believe. And most of these people who say these things, they did not grow up watching basketball back in the 90s. They don't know the deal, and they do not know the, the history, and they don't do their homework. Right. So I do the homework for you guys and for some of these clueless. Right. And lost souls. And once again, guys, the facts remain. Michael Jordan and his team, because I've already debunked the Michael Jordan foul stuff. Right. Especially as it relates to LeBron James. Nowhere near. LeBron James has got so many, so much more preferential treatment from the referees than Michael Jordan. Right. And we talked about how LeBron James still hasn't passed Michael Jordan in personal fouls yet. Still hasn't passed him, even though he's played over 400 more games than Michael Jordan. Still hasn't passed him in personal fouls. That is crazy, guys. It's insane, right? That speaks to LeBron James' lack of effort and the help that he's been getting his entire career. I told you also, LeBron never had over 200 fouls in a season for his career. Michael Jordan had well over 200 fouls almost every single season. Well over 200, multiple seasons. LeBron never. Michael Jordan averages one whole foul more than LeBron James per game, right? LeBron James led the playoffs in free throw attempts more times than Michael Jordan did. So all these things have been exposed, right? Like I said, once again, Michael Jordan got the calls that he earned, right? And yes, he did get some, some help calls. All the stars get the help calls, right? Maybe it wasn't a foul and they got the benefit of the doubt. That happens to all-star players. Once again, not unique to Michael Jordan. Also, we think about Michael Jordan's game as it relates to LeBron James' game. It's not the same, right, guys? But when we think about that, like I said, the team... Right, And we've talked about the last couple of years, the LeBron James Lakers always leading the league in free throw attempts, right? Always. So last year, they were number one in free throw attempts, guys. And this year, I believe they're number four in free throw attempts. So when you start to highlight these kinds of things and you hear LeBron James crying and moaning, you have the LeBron James fan club will come out and say, oh, Michael Jordan cried for fouls. Michael Jordan got all the foul calls. This is what they believe because they don't know the history. They didn't do their homework. And like I said, they weren't around watching this stuff, guys. So I wrote down some of these numbers. I, I, I did a little bit of digging into the stuff, man. For the education, guys, it's for educational purposes so the people can understand Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls never got preferential treatment from the referees as it pertains to free throws in a season. Never did, guys. And you, when I read these numbers off, guys, 
you'll see what I'm saying. It's crazy. So I started off looking into the free throw attempts, guys. Right? Because to me, I think that's what everyone's always complaining about or LeBron James complaining about the other day. They didn't get enough free throw attempts. Right? And he talks about how his team, this is what they do. They get free throws. They drive to the basket. All this nonsense he was talking, right? And when we think about these things, what I've told you guys before, it's not just LeBron James. His entire team is flopping around for foul calls. And the rest have been giving them to him. So they finished number one last year in free throw attempts, guys. Number one, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, never once, guys, did they finish above, I believe, in the top 10, if I remember correctly. So maybe I think that maybe one year they finished in the top 10. So I looked into these numbers, and yes, okay, 1985, guys, they finished number seven in free throw attempts in, 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 to in total, total free throw attempts for the season, right? They finished number seven. That's pretty good, top 10, right? Well, we all know that was Michael Jordan's rookie season, right? Did that help the Bulls win? No, they won, what, 35 games, whatever the case may be. But number seven is nothing crazy, right? But this is where it gets crazy, guys. Now we think about the next full season for Michael Jordan, 1987, right? They finished number 21, guys, 21st out of like 27 teams at the time in free throw attempts at the bottom of the league. 1988, they were number 20, 20th in free throw attempts. Once again, bottom of the league. 1989, they were number 22 in free throw attempts. Once again, guys, bottom of the league in free throw attempts for Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Now, 1990, when the Bulls start to have some success, oh, yeah, the Bulls were definitely going to get a lot of foul calls during the, the 90s, right, when Michael Jordan was in his peak, and he was definitely getting all the calls. The Chicago Bulls were getting all the calls, right? 1990, they were 22nd in free throw attempts, guys, 22nd. Right? 1991, they were 22nd again in free throw attempts. Total free, these are totals, guys. Free throw for the whole season. They were 22nd out of 27 teams. Bottom of the league again. You know who was number one in 1991, guys? I believe it was the Los Angeles Lakers with Magic Johnson. They were number one in free throw attempts. I believe they were dead last in fouls against them. Right? Isn't that ironic? Number, in 1992, guys, they were 16th in free throw attempts. 16th. 1993, they were 26th in free throw attempts, guys. Damn near the bottom of the league. Out of 27 teams, they were 26th. In 1996, they were number 22. Once again, bottom of the league. 1997, they were 27th in free throw attempts. Bottom of the league. And in 1998, they were 24th in free throw attempts. Once again, bottom of the league. Guys, literally every single season in the 90s that Michael Jordan played, they were no higher than 16th in the league. They were never in the top 15. They were never in the top 10. They were never in the top 5 in free throw attempts total for the season. So, all these numbers I just read, I mean, think about, look at this, 21st, 20th, 22nd, 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 16th, 26th, 22nd, 27th, 24th. They're at the bottom, literally the bottom of the league every single season. And in the 90s, they never finished above 16th. They were in the bottom of the league in free throw attempts every year, guys. But people will somehow try to make an assumption or try to create this false narrative that Michael Jordan and the Bulls got all this help from the referees. They were shooting all these free throws. Nobody else was. It's crazy, guys. It's insane. Look at those numbers I read off. And I looked into some of LeBron James' teams. It's the same similar things. In his entire career, guys, I looked into the same thing. Okay, guys? Michael Jordan's teams finished top 10 one time, guys, in his career in free throw attempts. Once in 1985, his rookie season, they were seventh. Every other year, they've never finished above 16th. Never above 16th, guys. That's the bottom of the league. Bottom. Let's compare it to LeBron James now because LeBron James never gets foul calls like Michael Jordan does. His teams never get the calls that the Chicago Bulls got. Let's think about this now. 2004, they were 12th in the league in free throw attempts. 05, 12th. 06, 6th. 07, 15th. 08, 15th. 09, 15th. 2010, 5th. 2011, 3rd. 2012, 8th. 2013, 10th. 2014, 17th, 15th, 12th, 2016, 24th, 2017, 13th, 2018, 9th, 2019, they were 14th, 2020, they were 10th, 2021, 6th, 2022, 9th, 2023, they were first last season, and this year so far, they're fourth. I know I did that quick, guys, but I want you guys to think about something. The LeBron James-led teams for his entire career have finished in the top 10 in free throw attempts. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this will be the tenth season, guys. So, out of twenty seasons, he is his team has been in the top ten in free throw attempts for half of that time, half. And the crazy thing is, look at look at his fit: sixth, ninth, first, ninth, eighth, third, fifth. 
Michael Jordan's Bulls were never finishing that high. The lowest finish for LeBron James' team was 24th in 2016, guys. 24th. That was the only finish that they had in the 20s. Meanwhile, Michael Jordan's team, every year, they were in the, the bottom 20s of the league. Also remember, Michael Jordan's NBA had less teams in the beginning. So when he's finishing 22nd and 90, 22nd and 91, uh, 26 and 93. There's only 27 league, uh, teams in the NBA at that time, I believe. They're the bottom. These are the bottoms. LeBron James is finishing 12th. 12th. That's the top half of the league. There's 30 teams. They're finishing in the top half, right? That's great. 12, 12, 6, 15, 15, 15. These are all the top half of the league. Fifth. Look at his years on Miami. Third, eighth, and 10th, guys, and 17 and 14. Always in the tops. Third and 11, eighth and 12, and 10th in 2013. Right when he had that groove going. They were getting all these free throw attempts, the LeBron James teams. And then you see what's going on in the Lakers. 2020, they were 10th. 2021, they were 6th. 2022, they were 9th. And last year, they were 1st. Michael Jordan's teams were never in the top 10, guys. I told you, the only, the only year they were in the top 10 was his rookie season. Only year, guys. And it's not that these guys weren't getting pummeled. There's a much more physical era. So the fouls that Michael Jordan was getting, the Bulls were, were getting, they were earning. They were legit fouls. This is not Michael Jordan and the Bulls flopping around for foul calls, crying to the referees, crying to the NBA. Because everyone always says, oh, Michael Jordan cried to the NBA because of the, to the Pistons and the fouls. So what did that do for him? It did literally nothing. It didn't help his team out. They're in the bottom in the free throw attempts every season. 1998, 24th. 1997, they were 20, uh, dead last, 27th. Or, or, or almost last. I think there was 29 teams, I believe, in the league or at that time. They're, 1996, they were 22nd in the league. This all bottom stuff, guys, when they were winning. They were in the bottom. There was no help from the referees. There was no Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls getting all the calls. We've exposed this idea. We've exposed this notion, guys. It's all right there in black and white. Once again, if you watch the games, then you'll see clearly any fouls that Michael Jordan got or most of the foul calls that Michael Jordan got. He earned these fouls because, once again, teams fouled Michael Jordan on purpose. Right? They had to foul Michael Jordan from time to time to stop him from getting an easy dunk or an easy layup. Right, he beats the defense, they'll hack him. They'll grab Michael Jordan. They'll wrap him up. Try not to get, let him get an N1. These are things that happen. So all this stuff that people say about Michael Jordan and they try to make it seem like this guy was getting all this help from the referees. Once again, Michael Jordan didn't get treated any bit different than any other superstar in NBA's history, guys. Everyone's getting the benefit of the doubt when you're a superstar. The Bill Russells. The, Will Chamberlain never even fouled out of a game. All right? So all these guys get preferential treatment from the referees, the Magic Johnsons, the Larry Birds, the LeBron James, Steph Currys, Kobe Bryants, right? The star players get preferential treatment. That's the way it's always been. They're going to get more treatment than a role player or a bench player, no-name guy. Absolutely. But what you see with LeBron James over the last several seasons, guys, is that his entire team gets the benefit for playing with LeBron James. The entire team does. That's not the same for Michael Jordan. You can't say that for Michael Jordan's teammates. They all didn't get the benefits of the, of the calls, the Bulls. They're in the bottom every year in free throw attempts. Meanwhile, LeBron James' teams are on the top of free throw attempts all the time because guys like Austin Reeves and all these other guys are getting free throw attempts because they play with LeBron James. And over the last several seasons, it's got out of control. 2021, they were sixth. 2022, they were ninth. Last year, they were first. So they've been in the top 10 every single season, essentially, that he's been in L.A. 2020, they were 10th. Michael Jordan was never in the top 10 when he was going on his runs. Never. So you guys know the deal, man. Once again, we must continue to set the record straight here. Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls did not get preferential treatment to the from the referees to the degree that it was helping them win games. They won games off of their team chemistry, off of their hustle. That's how they won games. They weren't being carried to these wins. The Bulls were a legit all-time great dynasty in the 90s, man. They weren't propped up by the NBA and the referees or David Stern or any of this nonsense. Nothing is hot. Nothing, and everything that's read to you guys highlights this. So you guys know the deal, man. Like you guys, like I said on the sound, guys, we must continue to stand up, set the record straight, stop the lies and the narratives, man. It's a lie that Michael Jordan always got the calls. It's a lie that Michael Jordan cried to the NBA about fouls and this and that. I told you guys the entire NBA was complaining about the Detroit Pistons. It wasn't Michael Jordan. Larry Bird complained. The coaches were complaining of the Celtics. Magic Johnson. All these guys complained about the dirty tactics of the Pistons, man. Everyone did. Right? The, the coaches, Phil Jackson, all these guys, man. They moaned Pat Riley. They did. And it did nothing for Michael Jordan and his team going forward. 
they didn't get lifted up with a bunch of phantom foul calls and a bunch of free throw a free throw parade during the season. They never even finished in the top half of the of the NBA, guys. Never. In the bottom half every season in free throw attempts for the season totals. You guys know the deal, man. I catch you guys on the next one.